Oh, hallelujah. A blessed morning out there once again. If you're joining me, I want to welcome you this morning to the Porter's Gate online broadcast. As you know, today we are beginning our 10 days fast. And I'm praying this morning that once again, the Spirit of the Lord will give us direction, will give us a leading into his heart, into his mind. We want to believe God for great things in this uh, uh, period, in this season of waiting on God and depending on his his voice, amen, to renew us, to build us, of course, to empower us as we journey into the days ahead of us. There are a couple of things that I'm, I'm sure we want to highlight, we should highlight during this period of fast. And uh, I am looking forward to uh, the direction of uh, the Spirit of God in terms of uh, the things that uh, we are going to be emphasizing the things that we need to look into. There are a couple of things that uh, we should uh, pray about. We should um, emphasize in terms of developing the right spiritual, mo- you know, model uh, and and capacity. We do need all of you know uh, uh, the required you know grace and and resource that we we can get as the body of Christ in in pressing into the days ahead the days ahead of us amen are days that are clotted with all kinds of variations and 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 deceptions and we don't want to be deceived we don't want to also lose god we don't want to lose a sense of you know hope we want our faith amen to be excuse me we want our faith to be rekindled we want our hope to be well established in the midst of uh, our hopeless crises and situations all around us, we want to be able to develop I mean, a new sense of uh, uh, um, belief and, and grace and, and, and strength in the Lord. We want our hope I mean, to be anchored on, on, on his word and that which I mean, he has promised to do in this season in time. We are prophetic people. We're a prophetic generation. And therefore, we move and we... We, we follow in, in terms of, <clears throat> excuse me, the leading and the guidance of, of the spirit. So uh, I, we believe that in this period, in this season of waiting on the Lord and depending on his, on his, on, on his strength, amen, we will be renewed, we will be refreshed, we will be empowered, we will be emboldened, amen, we will be encouraged that nothing will stand our way, that our life, amen, will reflect the intentions of God from all angles. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, we once again come before you this morning. We appreciate what you have done in our lives. We want to thank you this morning for giving us this grace, this grace, oh God, to wait on you. Yes, it's a grace. And we know, Lord, it's not of our, of our own might or strength. Therefore, no one should be able to boast. We depend on you this morning, even as we begin this journey, oh God, of of yes, waiting on you, trusting in you, and taking our eyes off the things of the flesh, the things of, of man. We we severe ourselves this morning from human knowledge, human wisdom, everything that defines human strength. We declare them this morning null and void in our life. As we approach you this morning, we approach, oh God, with a contrite heart. Yes, we pray this morning that is there anything that could hinder us, that the enemy can use to stop or frustrate us, oh God, in this period of waiting on you. Lord, we ask that this morning you grant us, yes, a mercy and grace, even as we lay those things before you, as we surrender ourselves before you, as we yield our lives before you, as we commit our ways unto you. We pray this morning that your spirit will empower us, yes, Lord, that you will embolden us, you will encourage us, Father. Yes, you said those who wait upon you shall renew their strength. You said they will mount up with wings like eagles. Father, that is what we want to do in this few days of waiting and seeking. We want to have a better understanding of your ways. We want to have a clearer, yes, insight, oh God, into your prophetic program. We want to be able to see things, oh God, yes, the way you've ordained them. We want to hear 
your voice with clearer understanding. We want our ears to, to be more sensitized, oh God. Yes, Lord. We want our heart to be more, yes, in tune. We want our mind to be fine-tuned, oh God, yes, to your desire, to your heartbeat, oh God. Father, we pray this morning, grant us daily grace and strength. We pray this morning, oh God, that everyone who has joined, who is joining, who will join in this time of waiting on you, Father, that their strength truly really will be renewed. And that strength, oh God, indeed comes from you. That strength, Father, yes, is that to which you have approved. And so we thank you this morning. <clears throat> we honor you. We praise your name. Because we know, Lord, that you have begun. You said uh, in the book of Daniel, you said, Daniel, since the day you set your mind to understand, to in seek inquir inquiry, to seek, yes, understanding, you, you, you said from the day you began to pray, to know these things, we have dispatched the answer. We thank you this morning that our answer for spiritual breakthrough, for kingdom advancement, oh God, yes, has been answered. Our quest, oh God, to continue to live for you, to continue to live for you in the midst, oh God, of contradiction, in the midst, oh God, of failure, in the midst of fear and doubt, in the midst, oh God, yes, of, of persecution and tribulation and attack, oh God, and lack as we make up our mind, oh God. To continue in the journey of searching for you, in pleasing you. We pray in the name of Jesus that nothing would derail us, that we will be more enriched, empowered, we will be, yeah, we'll be more flourished, oh God, through your spirit, uh, that our inner man will be renewed. You said those who wait upon you shall renew their strength. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this is a day of refreshing. This is a season, oh God, of renewal, new beginnings, oh God. Yes, in regards to how we see, how we understand, how we interact, how we relate, oh God, how we receive from you. We thank you for newness, newness in every area of our life, newness in every area of our home, newness, oh God, in every area of our calling ministry, newness in what we represent, oh God, yes, Father, as 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 laymen, oh God, yes, as as people in 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 in, in the marketplace, oh God, yes, uh, people connected to have a voice oh god in the in the corridors of power we thank you lord that everything that our life represent oh god that will be renewed this morning our redemption will become even more clearer to us and our assignment to god oh god father in the name of jesus will become more yes strong our assignment our prophetic mandate will become more established oh god thank you lord for this brand new beginning, this new day. Lord, you say we, we should consider not the former things. You say, see, I do a new thing. Indeed, our eyes this morning will be open to see this new thing. Help us to see spiritual things so we can fully appreciate and, 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 and honor you, O oh God. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We glorify your name. Perfect your work in us. Perfect your work through us. Build your house in us, O oh God. May your kingdom this morning come, O oh God. May our life bring glory and honor unto you. May our home bring, O oh God, honor unto you. May our family, our children, husband, wives, O oh God, aunties and uncles, O oh God, nephews, O oh God, and cousins, O oh God, yes, Father, be drawn closer to you through the testimony of our life, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus that nothing will hinder that which you have ordained through our life. <clears throat> May the knowledge of your glory cover the earth as the water covers the sea. May the knowledge of your glory cover the earth even as the water covers the sea. We thank you. We bless your name. We hallow you. We exalt you. We proclaim you are worthy. We proclaim you are holy. We proclaim you are exalted. We proclaim that there is none like you. No one to be compared with you. This morning we begin this journey. We thank you, Father, that nothing, O oh God, will stop or hinder us. Thank you, Lord, that you who have begun this good work in us, you will, yes, bring it to perfection. You will bring it to fruition, to the glory of your name. 
as we lay down this morning every superfluity of nothingness, as we cast aside, O oh God, our own minds, our own imagination, as we wear, O oh God, a new garment of thinking, O oh Father, ah, that we will be able to have a clearer insight, O oh God, into your ways, a better understanding, into your demand, our prophetic, yes, sour will be more sharp, will be more clear, yes, Father, our life will become a fragrance, O oh God, unto you, Father, we bless your name this morning, have your way, take your place this morning, we lay aside this morning, we cast them this morning, imaginations, oh God, and every high thing that exalt themselves above against your will, we cast them down, we bring them down in the name of Jesus, wrong, wrong belief system, wrong appetite, wrong desire, we lay them aside, we cast them aside, we ask, oh God, to be washed this morning, wash us, cleanse us, purify us, Renew us, energize us, empower us, endow us, endue us with your spirit this morning. We bless your name, O oh God. Have your way. Take your place. Have your way. Take your place. May the works of the flesh become a thing of the past in our life. May the works of the flesh become a thing of the past in our life. Yes, we know that the battle is, yes, against the works of the flesh. They said the two they are forever in conflict. That the spirit and the flesh are forever in conflict. Father, this morning we stand in the side of the spirit. We are spiritual being. We are spirit being, and therefore we declare in the name of Jesus this morning that our spirit man will continue to gain ascendance. Our spirit man will continue to gain newness. Our spirit man will continue to gain strength. Our spirit man will continue to be renewed in the name of Jesus. We proclaim this morning, O oh God. God, that your will and counsel and purpose will find full expression in our life. You will be glorified in everything that we represent. We thank you, O oh God. We honor you. We bless your name this morning. Have your way. Be glorified in our life. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus. Well, I, I would like to start with uh, the scripture this morning. I would like to start with Romans chapter 12. Is a, a good place to, to, to start from. We'll just look at Romans chapter 12 and we'll see how far. I'm not going to take our time this morning. Just, just to encourage us as we begin this journey. It's a beautiful journey. It's a wonderful uh, uh, um, <clears throat> in adventure. It's a beautiful place to be, to wait on God. So many things, amen, will be happening in our lives. But not just in our life, but in the lives of our children. Because we're not just fasting, amen, for ourselves. We're also, amen, standing in the gap. You know, we're standing in the gap on behalf of, and we can do that, amen. Uh, Esther reveals that to us, right? And the scripture also, you know, uh, all this part of the scripture tells us that we can pray, we can fast, amen, and we can wait on the Lord on behalf of others, on behalf of countries, amen, on behalf of nation, on behalf of the church, on behalf of the body of Christ, amen. So uh, uh, that's what we are doing. This is not just for ourselves. In fact, it's more for amen, God's prophetic intention amen, to find entrance, to find inroad into amen, the, the community of the saints, into the body of Christ. Amen. We're fasting because we want something to happen amen, in the church, in our community, in our lives, in our homes, in our family. Of course, it must begin from our own life. Amen. So we want to believe God for great things in this in this period. <clears throat> Please pardon me. <clears throat> in Romans chapter twelve, uh, from verse one, I, I, I like to start from that. From there, Romans chapter twelve says, "Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the view of God's mercy." To offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and pleasing unto God. That's some of the things that we are doing in this period of fast. Amen. We are offering our body. We are offering our minds. We are offering our faculty. We are offering, amen, our intelligence. We are offering, amen, every aspect of, of our life. Whatever defines, amen, our life. We are offering it. Fasting is a time where we sacrifice. We offer, amen. We abstain from things, amen. We, we, it's not just about abstaining from food amen we want to also abstain from 
thoughts that are ungodly, amen, belief system that are ungodly, amen, a relationship that are toxic, whatever it is, oh God, uh, excuse me, that can that can, that can can stop or hinder, amen, us from reaching the point, the place that God has ordained for us, amen. This will be a time, amen, to cast those things away. This will be a time to believe God, to, to grant you strength, to grant me strength, amen, to break away from those things. He said that we offer ourselves. <clears throat> we have to do it, amen. It's something that we have to do. I urge you, I urge you, amen, that you offer yourself. You offer your, <clears throat> you offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing unto God. He said, for this is your true, this is your, this is your true and proper worship. That's the NIV translation. This is your true and proper worship, all right? Of course, through, during this period and in the days ahead of God, uh, ahead, in, uh, ahead, we want God to bring us to, uh, uh, you know, a new realm of understanding what worship is. We want to truly worship God beyond just the words that we proclaim. We want our entire life, our entire being, amen, to be an offering, amen, in worshiping of God, in glorifying him, in exalting his name, amen. We want every aspect of our life to be a living sacrifice unto him <clears throat> it says do not be conformed to the pattern of this world do not be conformed to the patterns of this world uh, we know that uh, the, the world today has intensified you know their their passion their their pattern of thinking them lifestyle and 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 way of you know you know, lifestyle, they, they've increased that. And in fact, they're making that even more difficult for those who, who will refuse, who will reject, amen, their pattern. The word says that we should not be conformed. You know, that, that's, 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 that's a challenging thing if, if the word of God, the, the will of God, and the position of strength, amen, uh, 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 is not established in our life. It says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world there's a pattern this world amen is 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 shaped and it's being shaped there's something that is being promoted out there amen that seeks to challenge stands ag ag against amen the, the the values the the principles and the and the culture of the kingdom of god it says do not be conformed to the pattern of this world but rather be transformed i mean it's going to take a lot of amen position of 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 of, of grace and strength amen and knowledge and wisdom amen to maintain that path that we are not conformed amen to the pattern to the ways of this world but rather amen we are transformed by the renewing of our mind you see how all of those things connect to the state of our mind. And that's why I said it's important that we begin from amen, this, the condition of our mind. Because we, 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 can, we, can, we can have all of this knowledge and information. But if they are not you know, resident, if they are not seated amen, within the structure of our spirit man. If what we know amen, are not established within the structure of our spirit man. It is so easy amen, to be lured, to be deceived and to be carried away amen by what is called the patterns of this world we don't want to be amen to be compromised by the ways of this world we want our minds to be renewed it's in that renewness of mind amen that we want to be able to amen understand the things that god is revealing to us the things the spirit of god is is showing us the things god is pointing to the direction of, of, of the spirit amen it's when our minds are renewed when our lives amen are transformed when the pattern of our thinking are aligned to the will of god that we are able to know you will see that we're able to know the things amen that please god that will be able to test amen the things that are, are approved of god the things amen that heaven has sacrificed Function. When our minds, amen, are not renewed, there is no way we'll be able to fully, amen, advance the intentions of God for our life or for our community or for our nation or for family. So this is very important, amen, this morning that the concept of presenting our body, amen, and, and renewing our mind, amen, defines how we go spiritually, how we advance spiritually. One of the, you know, uh, major you know a uh, uh, reason or, or or purpose of this fast amen is to seek spiritual breakthrough 
is to seek spiritual breakthrough and of course amen to, to to find ourselves in that position where we can advance the kingdom of god talking about advancing the kingdom of god you know the scripture say seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness seek ye first uh, 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 the, the question therefore is what do you seek in the kingdom when i say seek first the kingdom of god what are you seeking what are we supposed to be seeking because, you know, many a times we throw this scripture, we just throw it off the air, we just, you know, use it anyhow without really thinking about what the scripture actually means. What is the scripture saying? What is the Lord saying through the scripture? Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It says, seek ye the kingdom of God. What are the values? What, what is God talking about? What are we supposed to be seeking in the kingdom of God? Of course, we have to be in the kingdom to seek the kingdom, to seek these things of the kingdom. So these are things that I'm hoping that as we fast, as we wait on the Lord, the realities of the kingdom will become even more clearer to us. Because when we seek first the kingdom of God, when we seek, amen, the values, the principles, amen, the, the way of life, the, 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 the culture, if you will, the spiritual, you know, uh, uh, knowledge that defines kingdom life. I think st that is still something that many uh, are yet to understand. Remember, we already, you know, uh, 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 wrote a uh, uh, material on, on that. Amen. Yes, we, we, we have a material out there that, uh, that helps us to understand what the kingdom of God is. The things of the kingdom. Amen. Principle of the kingdom. And relating that even to spiritual authority. We have to, in this last day, in this season in time, as we proceed towards the days of the end. Amen. Develop kingdom education. We need to be thought we need to be built up we need to be encouraged we need to be empowered amen in terms of what kingdom of god what the kingdom of god is what is the kingdom of god amen and what are we supposed to be seeking in the kingdom of course our desire is to seek all of that which christ desire for us all of that which christ amen you know as proclaim and declare um, and 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 ordain for us that's what we want to seek so we seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness. There is a righteousness that comes from the kingdom. And there is a righteousness that comes from traditions of men. The Bible called that righteousness a filthy rag. It's not accepted before God. So we want our life, amen, to be built upon, to be established upon sound biblical uh, 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 principle. We want to search. We want to know. We want to proceed, amen, in the direction of God's will. Yes, but we can only do that when we have, amen, a transformed lifestyle through, amen, a renewed mind. Yes, if our minds are, are not renewed and, 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 and I tell you, this is, this is a major one in these days that we're living. All kinds of issues are happening, amen, that are determined by the quality or state of our minds. <clears throat> we want our minds to be renewed, to be transformed. We want our mind, amen, to be empowered, to be energized. We want our mind, amen, to be, amen, washed, cleansed via the word of God. We want our mind, amen, to help us identify that which amen is good that which is pleasing and perfect unto god that is the purpose of the mind god gave us the mind so we are able to know we're able to test we're able to approve what is good what is pleasing and what is perfect unto god it's important that we start from this point this morning so I pray this day that as you begin this uh, fast, as you begin this journey, that first of all, you believe God to detox you. Amen. Yes. I say casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought. Want to see <clears throat> that newness becomes, amen, what ushers us into this season? Amen. We want to begin this day. Hallelujah. Yes. In that state of Lord, I'm offering to you my life. I'm surrendering myself to you. I'm presenting my body to you as a living sacrifice. Let's start from that point. Let's start from that point, amen, as we approach God in this time, as we come to this hill, as we make our journey to the mountain, we want to come, you know, 
cleansed, washed. Of course, he's the one that cleanses us. But is there anything in you that you know can hinder, will hinder? The enemy can use to, 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 to frustrate or even accuse you. Why don't you lay those things down? The things you can cast down, cast them down. Bind your mind, amen, to the will of God. In fact, that we sh- that's, that's what we should do right now. That is what we should do right now. Let's bind our minds and our thoughts to the staying power of God. Say this with me if you're, if you're listening to me this morning. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you this morning. In the beginning of this fast, I present myself to you, holy and acceptable. I declare this morning, my life belongs to you. My body belongs to you. My soul belongs to you. My spirit belongs to you. All my faculty belongs to you. I present my entire life unto you. I declare this morning that as I wait upon you, I will be renewed. I will be transformed. I will be empowered. I will be energized. I will hear. I will see. I will know. I will understand your ways, your will, your purposes, your desire for my life. This day, I present myself to you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, for it is my reasonable service. I do not conform to the ways of this world. I do not conform to the patterns of this world. I do not conform to the philosophies of this world. I am not captured by the culture of this age. I am not bound to the spirit of Babylon. I declare in the name of Jesus that my mind belongs to you. I I receive this morning the mind of Christ. I receive this morning the thought of Christ. I am renewed in my way of thinking because I offer myself, I offer my body, I offer my mind, I offer my entire faculty unto you as a living sacrifice. I present myself, I declare the name of Jesus that I am, yes, of the Lord. I am of Christ. My body, my mind, my thoughts, my faculty is transformed this morning. I present myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, pleasing unto God. I declare this morning, I am transformed in the way I think. I am renewed in the way I see. My life belongs to Christ. This morning, I'm able to know that which is good, that which is acceptable, and that which is approved of God. In the name of Jesus, I have a sound mind. I have a sound life as I wait on God. In this spirit of fast, my life is changed. My life is renewed. My life is transformed. I am empowered. I am endowed. I am graced by God. I live in the ambience of truth. I walk in the pathway of righteousness in the name of Jesus. I am changed. I am empowered. I am blessed. I am changed. I am transformed in Jesus' name. I bind my mind to the mind of Christ. I bind my soul to the soul of Christ. I bind my thoughts to the thought of Christ. I declare, I receive this morning the imagination of Christ Jesus. I am transformed. I am renewed. I am pr- blessed. I am productive in my thinking in the name of Jesus. I can do what God says I can do. I will do what God says I must do in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I have a disciplined mind. I have a disciplined mind. I have a disciplined mind. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, that's a beautiful place to start this morning, friends. That is a beautiful place to start. That confession, I believe, will stir something within your spirit, man. Will empower you, will energize you, will grace you, and of course will embolden you to continue in the ways of God. Well, thank you so very much, everyone, this morning. As you've made the time to join, I want to believe that this is the beginning of great things in your life and in my life. Uh, In the in the in the evening, uh, before six, we will we'll have another time, amen, to pray. 
and to fast and just to break the fast. God bless you. Have a prosperous day. Have a fruitful day. May the Lord continue to perfect his will in your life. May he grant you grace and strength. And of course, just set your mind on what God is doing. Amen. Don't set your mind on the issue of food or whatever. Just set your mind on what God has begun to do in your life. And of course, you will have the reward of your obedience. God bless you. We'll see you again in the evening. Bye-bye.